Yo, what's up? Is your boy Mono here? Back again, once again, for round two of the Monotype uh, tournament uh, that I'm uh, in right now. So, um, not much for me to say, except I'm basically gonna go through the same plan that I'm gonna go through the same teams that I did in the last round that I did, um, which is, um, wait, how do I, okay, okay, that's how I, <laughs> um, that, that's how I navigate through the menu, um, just as an aside, um, so these matches usually go, like, about a week or so, like, or these rounds go about a week or so, and I haven't played a single match of this game <laughs> for about a week, so, <laughs> Just a little FYA, but yeah, I'm going. I'm gonna go through Mono Electric, just like I did in the first match in the first round. Although I decided to go for Iku instead of Kikuri, mostly because in my last round one match, I I understood that any Earth type kind of just screws me over. So having the power Iku might be more preferable. So yeah, um, that's where we're going. Alright, Mono Fire. Alright. This seems to be a pretty neutral matchup, all things considered. That being said, the extra racing is going to be a little bit scary to deal with, but it might not be that bad. I do have a Tokiko and a Golden Hairpin Defense Iku, but this is. Hmm. This is still a little bit scary, not going to lie. What do I want to lead with first? Leading with Defense Ichiden and just going for a Dynamic Punch doesn't sound awful. If they lead Speed Utaho, will an Inferno or a Focus Blast kill Ichiden? Yeah, a Gigantic doesn't kill Defense Ichiden from full. So I think I might want to lead with uh, Defense Ichiden mostly because it goes, it leads well into most of the U-Turners. It, it's a nice lead into everything except for Extra Miko, and if they go Extra Miko, that's not really that big of a deal. So I think I am fine with this game plan, I think. Yeah, let's get started. So they do go for the extra race and lead, which is fine. This thing is golden hairpin, so I'm confident I could at least take one hit, unless this thing is banded. And because I'm confident that I can at least take one hit, I am going to go for the no guard dynamic punch. I um, just want to make sure that this is dual. Yes. Stealth Trap? Oh, you're a Sash lead. Huh. Didn't see that one coming. Okay, so... Hmm... Alright, this will be interesting. If they go Miko, then that's excellent for me because the Lyrica is boots and I'll be able to get a free spin off of this. Which means if they go Miko, then that essentially means that they basically sack the mod for nothing. They go Hina instead, however. But I think Hina is fine. I don't think I really care about that because I am Golden Hairpin. I am curious if I want to retain HP on it so I can have this thing 1v1 the Shizuha, for instance. That being said, trying to get a first turn Confuse proc on this and then, and then just swinging it with Lightning Cut does sound nice. So I think I'll go for this play. 
If I can get some confused blocks off, then I think I'll be able to 1v1 this. Holy Flare. It does get the burn off, which is annoying. I'll still try to 1v1 this. But the fact that they got the burn off the Holy Flare is annoying. Vulcan views. Wow, this game hates me, huh? I go for Miko. I think I'll go for the Lyrica here and go for a spin. Sub. Is this subplot? It is subplot. Alright. So it's currently a plus one. I think this is the only special attacker that I really have to worry about because the only other. Actually, no, there's the Utsuho, which is annoying. I think I still, I think I still spam spin here. If I decrescendo, that's punished by an, by another spin. I could try to go for Iku here, but I think I just try to spam spin on this. Jesus Christ! Okay, um, just want to make sure that my speed tiers are correct on this. Toji goes fast, Toji goes faster than Miko, correct? 130, and 120, okay. I think what I want to do here, hmm. alright, I think I'll rescind one of my previous statements. I think retaining or trying to keep the Lyrica alive might be f might be needed just so I can switch it into the Utsuho. And I think because of that, I think what I want to do is sack the Ichiren, go into the Twitch Goats of Revenge, and then proceed from there. I'll just go for a lightning cut. Or I could go for a blow from Calamity, maybe. But I'll just go for a lightning cut. Go for the sh you go for the Shizuha. The fact that they went into this immediately indicates they're scarfed. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go into my Tokiko and just hope for the best, I guess. This thing does have Rocky Helmet, so getting chip on this with the U-turn slash playable recoil 
and the Rocky Helmet chip is pretty nice. Where do they go into here, though? Most likely the Utaho. Which means that, as annoying as this might be, I think this means I might have to sack the Lyrica, even though I did say I wanted to preserve HP on it. However, I feel like this is necessary because... Oh, they go into this instead. Interesting. Hmm. What are you doing here? Hmm. I'm gonna assume maybe a firewall comes out. In which case, I could try to get Lyrica into heal. That would be nice. Good. Alright, and I can heal here. That's good. They will get a slow U-turn off. Most likely into the Shizuwa, but I think that's fine. continue healing here. Because this thing isn't killing me, and getting as much HP on this as possible to handle the Uto would be nice. Changeling here. Alright, they most likely go into the Shizua here, I presume. Just go into this. They double into the Utaho. That's fun. This doesn't stop me from switching back into the Lyrica. If they get a Blaze of Tenmei, they get a Blaze of Tenmei. That is extremely annoying, actually. That is devastating, actually. That is really fucking annoying. Wow. Um. That's a problem. That is very problematic, actually. Oh my god. All right. Okay. I think what I have to do is just go into this revenge with macro burst, and macro burst does actually hit everything here pretty hard because Mai is gonna take a chunk because common senseless and she's fit and she's more so physical phys, phys death inclined with her stats. Super effective against Utaho and H and Hina coming in. It's neutral to Shizuha. Yeah. This will do a this will do a chunk and this this specs. Never mind, that's that didn't do a chunk at all. Holy shit. Oh my god. Now things are really bad. I think I might have lost the game out for that, not gonna lie. I think that crit lost me the game.
Oh my god. That is so bad. That is really, really bad. God damn it, man. Are you fucking serious? on to Shizuha here. Maybe the Utsuho. Yeah, he just goes into Shizuha. Sure. If he doubles into Utsuho, I'm probably gonna have to sack the Iku. And then go right back out into, um... Uh, go right back into Saki and try to go for uh, macro bursts again. The Mai didn't heal, right? Yeah. So it's still only at like 48%, which means two macro bursts should kill if they're going for the switch in. Yeah. Okay. They did double. Good play from them. So I sack. I sack the Iku, go back into Saki, and then I try to revenge with Macro Bursts again. Kill with one. Wait, what was the roll on that last time? Are you kidding me? Are you actually fucking kidding me? Uh. Okay, one thing that I'm gonna check. Does... Tochiko kill from. Does Tochiko kill. Um. Does she kill Speed Uto from Ball with uh, Guts Lightning Cut? No, she doesn't. Which means I have to hope that. I have to hope that the recoil from this kills her, I guess. Dude. Wait, why didn't that? Wait, why did that not kill? 
Wait, what? I'm sorry, what the fuck? I'm sorry, what the fuck just happened? Wait, what? Uh... Alright, game two. I didn't think I was going to win. What the fuck just happened? But I guess we take those. Alright, um... Yeah, game two, I'm just gonna go with uh, Mono Water again, same as usual. I'm gonna switch the mu I'm gonna switch the music to the more calmer one. All right. Sound versus water, huh? Okay, I think this... Okay. So, since it's sound versus water, I think this match is more... It's pretty much less in my favor because sound or or water or... Uh, water is resisted by sound, so that's kind of that's kinda sucky. Mm. Yeah, not gonna lie, I think I kind of lose here. I This matchup doesn't really bode well for me, at first glance. It's either Speed Yatsuhashi lead or Assist Kana lead, although I don't know what Assist Kana would do aside from just, like, Prankster Encore shit. I think what I might do here is lead Letty and just click EQ, no matter what happens. That might be fine. But yeah, I don't really like this matchup. This matchup really sucks for me, the more I'm looking at it. I'm really gonna have to rely on Fudo here to win, but I don't even think Fudo can... I don't know if Fudo really can clutch me the win because Jolly has priority on his side with Power Marasa and um, instant win from Speed Yatsuhashi, so I don't know if Power... I don't know if Speed Fudo can clutch me the win here even. But yeah, this matchup's kind of rough. He goes to go with, he does lead to be Yatsuhashi. I'm going to... Hmm, how confident I am in assuming that I live a sound move. Well, to be honest, switching into anything doesn't really do me any favors. So I think I... I think all I have to do is just hope I live a hit. And just go for shooting press, I guess. They can't lightning speed here. Your high tone. Well, I wouldn't really know if I lived anymore, would I? Ah. 
That sucks. Welp. Instant win is gone, and now I just uh, click Mac of Wells to here and hope I land. They sacked the Marasa, that's pretty nice. So one less thing to worry about in regards to what's gonna revenge kill to what's gonna revenge kill Futo. They go into this, which concerns me. The fact that they went to this indicates that they might have Eye of Calamity. I think that's what it means. Because you don't just go into this unless you're confident that whatever priority move you have stops whatever this does. Yeah, this thing does learn I have Calamity. I just want to check that real quick. So you're probably going to try to fear this. In which case, probably go for you. I think I go for you and set T-Spike. Oh, screens. Oh, that is annoying, actually. That is very annoying. Alright. Well, this sucks. Changeling, huh? I'm surprised they didn't set the second. Actually, I was gonna say this. I'm surprised. I was gonna say I'm surprised they didn't set the reflect, but reflect doesn't really do much for them in this case because my only real threatening attack, my only real threatening attacker is physical, which is dead. So that this is looking pretty bad now. They go into this. Hmm. Do I just sack the chair now? I think I might just sack the chair now. Although, after I sack the Cherno, do I want to go into the Yachie or Futo? I want to see if Futo could kill even behind screens. Yatsu Hashi. Uh, Field Barrier. I do still kill even behind Field Barrier, according to the calc. So I sack this. Oh wow! Gotta love no gotta love known limits. All right, I guess I I just hope I guess I just. I guess at this point I just gotta hope that this thing is choice specs or something like that. I forgot to put that in repeat. I'll... 
I think I'll play that song once we if we actually go to gate three. Going to Merlin. I assume they plot here. Alright, question. Does Futo kill Merlin under screen? Even under screens? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. 57 of 67. So that means that this thing is Scarf, most likely, or Specs, but the fact that they went for Changeling means that this thing is probably Choice in some manner. Okay, to go into the Kana. So it's taunt. It's taunt. Um, light screen. I'm assuming it has reflect. It might not have eye of calamity. That being said, it's still that prospect is still a might. I think I'll just go into this and just threaten with knock. Not sure what they're planning to do here. That's fine. Light screen knocked off, so I can assume that the reflect. Yeah, so it's reflect, light screen taunt, and, uh, and an unknown. I guess I'll just lazy mist, because they're gonna... Oh! Oh, it's U-turn! Oh wait, did they reveal that? So both screens are up, but they'll probably be down pretty soon because I knocked up the likely. They're gonna hard switch because they know that this thing can't really do anything. This 
thing's been trick room, but I can leech, the, leech seed this thing now, now that the taunt wore off. And I could probably go into the Aiden here. I think that might be my best bet, because the Aiden is Fizz Death, and the hardest, and the move that could hit... Oh, take off the panic on here. That's annoying, but I think that's fine. I think I still go for Aiden here. Because, yeah, this thing's just gonna keep on swinging. I can live a hit from this thing. And because I live a hit from this thing, what I wanna try to do is get a T spike off, because getting a T spike off here would be really nice here. Because I don't think this team has a single remover. Oh wait, this- oh wait, I forgot. EQ. I forgot it had that, even though I mentioned it. That's fine, because this does give this thing a free opportunity to switch in, which is nice. into this thing okay given how they went into this I'm going to assume that means this thing is scarfed so with that assumption I'm gonna sack the channel here I think I'll probably sack the channel and go into Futo because they're most likely gonna go for a sound move here and Futo does resist the sound move so that'd be fine and I don't think the sound move will kill the Futo and what matters here is the Futo is just alive, not healthy. Sack the Miko. Just gonna set a are they just gonna set a screen and die? Hmm. Fine. This Kana can't really do anything. It's gonna die to. It's gonna die to the cheese break. And then I think from here I'm in a good position because if they go into the Merlin, I'll try to knock up the scarf. If they go into the Yatsu, then I'll try to deal as much damage to this thing as possible. Ooh, 
This is gonna come white right down to the freaking wire, huh? They can't click Poison Bomb here, because if they click Poison Bomb, that just that just gives Rikoko a really free switch in. That is the last thing I would have expected them to use. I thought they would have used Ultra Heights on here. That dies to the T-Spike. And then from here, the Merlin's gonna be locked into something. Yep, locks to the high tone. Lights more lane screen wore off. And then from here I think I win. I just wanna check something real quick. 80, 85. Okay, I'm gonna go for the more accurate move, just to be sure. Damn it, man. This game, this, this series of matches, I swear. Wait, what? Huh? Oh, I guess I killed. Well, shit. Um... GG's. Yet another match. I thought I lost because of RNG on my side, but it turns out I won, I guess. Well, shit. Um... I guess with that, I'm in winner's finals, I think, or winner's semis. I'll see you guys next week, I guess. Or, not really next week, but I'll see you guys later. Bye.